Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. Today's video is going to be kind of tips on how to use your money the most effective for you and kind of tips on how to save some money. Um, I feel sorry, honestly, right now for companies, for people. Um, inflation has gone up. I don't know if it's that way everywhere. I assume it is. But in California, it's gone crazy. Um, I just paid a few weeks ago like $6.99 for Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Um, and that was at a grocery store and it wasn't that big of a box. Now, anyway, we'll get into like how you could get that cheaper, but either way, prices have gone up. Um, so my first kind of category is just how to, I don't know, make your money do more for you kind of a thing. And so if you've never done it and you need to do it, I would make a budget, um, it could simply be on paper. My husband's good at Excel. So yeah, I mean, oh, well, I don't know, 20 years ago at this point, he made like a spreadsheet where it tallies it up for you. And so you put in, what are you making? So combined, whatever it is you're making in the household. And then you have categories, rent, electric bill, gas bill, all of the things. And then you can make a budget. And then of course you need to stick to that budget if you really want it to work. Um, but my number one tip really is pay yourself first. Put your money in a savings account, retirement account, 401k, um, emergency fund, whatever um, category you like, probably even more than one of those categories. We never had an emergency fund, so to speak. I know that's really big nowadays. Um, but we always did have money in a savings account. So we, by default, had money to fall back on. Um, but pay yourself first. Have it deducted from your paycheck. Um, I would start a retirement account. The sooner, the better. We didn't start probably until the 30s. And, I mean, you can just watch the shows and stuff. Your money will gain so much more if you start. The or sooner you start, the better. Um... Even if you can only put 20 bucks a month at the moment, put 20 bucks a month, pay yourself first. Um, 401ks, if your work matches, you would be stupid not to. If they match 200, you put 200. I mean, as long as you can afford that. So uh, that's like a free money you would just be throwing away if you don't um, do that. Um, and then you have to treat it as it's not there. You're not touching your emergency fund, your savings account. Um, it's harder to take money out of like your retirement accounts or whatever, but you typically can, but you treat it as it's not there. Um, my other tip that goes along with that, as you get raises, put a percentage of that raise towards like increase the amount you're doing for your retirement, the savings, the whatever, um, because it's easy to have almost like raise creep. I think it's like where, you know, you're making more, so you spend more, so you're making more, so you're spending more, um, which is going to be a little bit inevitable, but pay yourself first. And if you get a 10% raise, put 10% of that, um, in increase your, you know, savings or retirement by 10%. Um, and then I would also, I mean, as I'm giving advice here, I would say take advice with a grain of salt. Um, like we never really did, like some of these emergency fund suggestions are like, you need to have, I mean, like $70,000 or some crazy number in an emergency fund. I mean, of course it would never hurt to have that money, but that was one piece of advice we never took. It didn't seem to fit for us. Um, so do what feels right to you. Anyway, so those are kind of just the generic how to like kind of make your money work for you. But let's get into how to save some money because honestly, um, and I have a list on my phone if I'm looking down, but it's hard now with everything costing more. Um, so for example, I, I don't know what it is, but I've lost two pairs of sunglasses um, this summer. And I was going to, I found a pair on, is it Sunglass Hut? for like $66, whatever. It wasn't a, a huge deal. I could have bought them, but I was like, why not look on Amazon? And so I found the style I wanted on Sunglass Hut and then I went to Amazon and I found a pair that were almost identical. Honestly, I liked them better. They were a little bigger. I kind of have a, a bigger head and I only paid $16. 
So find the style you like and then try to find it cheaper. So if there's like a, um, a style of handbag you like, um, can you find that style cheaper, TJ Maxx, etc.? Um, we have got, we're almost getting back to where we need to really nail down a budget again. Um, but we really need to stop eating out. So eating out, we waste a lot of money eating out. And I will say maybe California more than other places as far as like maybe the Midwest goes. But we've really ratcheted our minimum wage crazy. I mean, so we, I don't even know what our minimum is, 15, 18, 19, 20. It's some crazy number. It was 15. I think we've hiked it even higher. But on top of that, companies are having to pay more to even get people to work. So you can often go to like a fast food restaurant and make $21 an hour, um, which then just makes that cost more. Um, so we've been eating out at the grocery store. I mean, I know that sounds ridiculous, but I'm trying to scale back. Like I'm trying to, um, my goal is to stop eating out as much. And I'm really bad at it in the summer because we're always out and about. And so lunch, we're easy to grab lunch out. Um, but sushi is one example where I really like our grocery store sushi and I never liked sushi at all, but both my daughter and I in the last six months, somehow like the light bulb popped on or our taste buds changed. And I like uh, sushi only if it's not fishy tasting. And I think that for me depends on the seaweed. My husband thinks there's like more stringent seaweed and less stringent seaweed. But anyway, that's a whole nother story. <coughs> so I really like the sushi at the grocery store. And I mean, it's a fraction of the cost. So I can get sushi to spare for all of us for like 20 bucks, maybe 25 bucks. And we had just went to a sushi place for lunch, I don't know, a month ago or so, $70 for all three of us to eat sushi for lunch. Um, and so that clearly saves a lot of money. So that's how I started. And I'm hoping to like scale back until we don't even eat out at the grocery, but you can do kind of like fun things at the grocery, rotisserie chicken, um, what have you, like they have wings. Um, so you could do like a pizza and wing night at, from the grocery store for way cheaper. We used to like to do Pizza Hut. Honestly, it hasn't been tasting as good lately. And Pizza Hut honestly is really cheap if you do their deals online. It's like 20 bucks for pizza for everybody. But pizza at the grocery store is $5. Not quite the same thing. But anyway, so we've been eating out at the grocery store to save money because we just can't afford to eat out like we used to because it is just cost so much um buy the bulk size when applicable and so I have one of these guys and I wasn't sure I was going to do overnight oats for the long haul and then once I did I buy the big guy there's probably even a bigger guy than this so I save this and then I just refill um but this you get way more I don't have like a number for you but this, it costs around like $3. This costs around $6 and I'm just estimating. And I mean, I don't even see ounces on here. Oh, this is 18 and this is 42. So it's clearly a good, a better deal for me to get the big guy. Of course, only if you're going to use it. Um, one of my tips farther down is Walmart. And it seems like at least in California or some people, like our anti Walmart. Well, anyway, uh, I'm, I go to Walmart almost for everything I can because Walmart is so much cheaper. So this at the grocery store is going to be at least $2 more expensive. The same thing with that cereal I was talking about at our grocery store, that box of cereal was $6.99. I wish I was kidding. And it was not a big size at Walmart. Uh, for a larger size, it was about $3.50. Um, maybe 450 anyway. So honestly, at this point, I go to Walmart for everything I can um, because it is just so much cheaper. So another example of buying in bulk um, is the Pureology. Now again, this, this in general isn't necessarily saving you money because I mean, Pureology is pricey, but this is like sort of like my Holy Grail shampoo. And I did the math and now I, for, I forget it because it was like for a different video. Um, but you get like for four of these, it's like one of these, um, and four of these costs, let's say like $130. One of these costs like $80. So this is an investment, but
but it saves you money. And I just now broke down and did this, even though I've been using this for, I don't know, almost two years because it's an investment. You have to know you really like it because otherwise you'd be throwing away money. But just buying the little guy, um, I saved, you know, pretty much like $40, which seems crazy. And so one wonders if I did the math right. But anyway, I saved money uh, doing it this way. So buying bulk when you can and when it makes sense. Um, and I also, well, normally I was buying these from my hairdresser, which sold me, was, um, cheaper than, she sells them for cheaper than what you can, um, buy them for. Um, getting last year's model again, when it's applicable. Um, so my podiatrist has a certain kind of shoe he recommends. His, that, his trick is to go on Amazon and get last year's model. Zappos is also a good one. Um, like you can get all the good name brand shoes. They often have similar models. And so if you don't mind that you have last year's model, last year's model is $60, $80 versus $150 for a pair of shoes. Again, buy generic when you can. Sometimes you can't. Like, so Pepto-Bismol in our household, um, I could drink the regular generic. My daughter does not like it. So in our household, we buy name brand Pepto-Bismol. So there are certain things where I do think name brand tastes better. Um, I think I would be happy with the generic oats, but I honestly am not sure. I need to look again, but I'm not sure our Walmart has generic ones. But anyway, buy generic when it's good for you because you can save a lot of money because what you're paying for is the label, really. Sometimes. I do feel like, again, there are some things that do taste better with name brand. Um, okay, I don't have an example for this one in here, but I can give you, I mean, a physical example. So find a use for it. If you buy something and it's not for you, find a use for it. So before I found like my forever shampoo, um, it was a real rat race. I would buy a shampoo and then it wouldn't work for my hair. And then you have what wasted money. So my husband has used a lot of my shampoo um hand-me-downs my daughter now um face cream or like when I get things in boxes my face cream I'm very picky on but my neck down here my arms are not so I will often use the face creams that don't make my the cut for my face I will use them other places that way they're not being wasted so find another use for the item uh price check larger items or any items um but especially larger items, like Amazon is not always cheaper. So um, Amazon, I feel like they're very convenient, but they're not always the cheapest option. So if my daughter's wanting something or I'm looking at something larger, even at Walmart, I will price check. It takes two seconds. We have our phones. There are times Amazon is cheaper. It makes sense to buy it on Amazon. There are a lot of times where Walmart is cheaper. It makes sense to buy it on Walmart. Um, and so you have to kind of price check because those dollars add up. And then, um, the last one is just kind of be cognizant of your spending. Ask yourself questions. Do you really need it? Are you going to use it? Um, the other day, my daughter and I kind of had some time to kill before her orthodontist appointment. And so we went to the dollar store and then we went to Target at the dollar store. So this is kind of splurging versus splurging. Um, so we went to the dollar store and they were sort of, what would you say then? We're not whirlwind, but like spontaneous. I don't know. I can't think of the word. So we bought a couple bath salts and a couple bath bombs. And so basically $5 total on bath salts and bath bombs. It was $5. It kind of felt, sometimes you just kind of feel like you need to like buy something, which is probably bad on and of itself. Number one, we use bath salts and bath bombs in this house. It is just something we do. At this point, I try to get them cheaper because um, bath boxes and things like that are, are a lot of money. And so this was kind of one of those acceptable splurges, if you will. Number one, it was $5. Number two, we actually use this. This is two products we use. And at this point, it's a staple in my household. <laughs> um, so it's a good, good, it's a win-win. I got to buy something, we're gonna use it. It's cheaper than if I, you know, got a deluxe version. Then we go to Target and we kept seeing things and we kept picking them up. Like there, 
There were these beetle magnets in like the office area. They were so cute. They were so us. We're a science family. We're an outdoors family. They were cute. $6.99. I picked them up. And then I see this round dry erase board with gold on the outside, faux marble. So cute. It would look perfect with the magnets. I picked that up. And then I don't know what else. And it was all little stuff. It really wouldn't have cost probably more than 30 bucks. Really not a big deal. Nothing we needed. And you don't always have to have a need for things you buy. But it was just all gratuitous spending that we didn't need to spend. Um, could I have only put one thing back? Sure. We put it all back except for like the pens and something else that were like a need. Um, and we didn't have to, but we did. Because you have to think about what you're buying. Do you really need it? Um, and again, you don't always have to have a need for it. But unless you're Rockefellers or something and you have endless money, you have to think about your purchases. Do you need it? Is it useful? You know, what's the purpose? And in that particular moment, it was just kind of like shopping to shop, not really needing. Anyway, I hope some of those tips help. If you have any tips, I would love for you to share them with me down below. Anyway, I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you soon.